Well, my name is Mark Weiss, and I founded the Weiss Gallery in London in 1985. Um, previously, I started my art dealing career working with my parents, uh, who were also art dealers um, based in um, just outside of London in the provinces. And uh, I've only ever been an art dealer. I joined them when I was 19, and then I, um, in when I was 32 years old, opened my own gallery here in London dedicated to the face, to portraiture. What do I like about portraiture? And that's a very interesting question and one that I'm asked quite often. Um, and quite frankly, I don't really have a, a, a particular answer for it, except to say that as a very young man, um, when I was working first with my parents, and my father very bravely gave me a checkbook to go out and buy and make my own mistakes, um, which he felt was the only way I was going to learn. Um, and I used to, when I was traveling around visiting all the local antique um, fairs and um, local auctions, I was always drawn in particular to early portraiture. It wasn't from any academic training um, or any particular history, um, interest in history per se. It's just I was always fascinated by these very curious, rather archaic images which st struck a chord in my personas in a way sort of encapsulating what I loved about England. Um, so that was really the start. I, I believe um, a really great dealer provides a, a priceless resource. Um, I pride myself on my eyes and as I will freely admit I'm, I'm not a great scholar, I'm not a, I'm not a great art historian, but what I have I think uh, is a wonderful sense of connoisseurship and a sense of taste and to recognize what a really great painting looks like. And I use that choice in my buying. Obviously one needs unlimited capital to buy everything that one would like and so my purchases you know have to be um, have to have to sort of fit in with what my budget is as a, as a business. But within those parameters, I, I really do pride myself on, on making, as far as I can, the really best choice to source out the really best objects. And so I'm very proud, especially when I look around the gallery today, to see a sensational selection of paintings. As an art dealer, I'm a frustrated collector. I can never afford to keep the paintings that I, would, that I buy, but it, I do own them for a period. and. I think my role is then to find what hopefully is the best ultimate home for them in the future. What drives my clients to buy a portrait? Um, well, I think perhaps the, 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 the very interesting point is that a portrait could be accessed from many different angles. Um, it could be the significance of the sitter in terms of uh, who he was and uh, his life and his history. Um, it could be the significance of the artist, for example, you know, if a painting is by Holbein or Rembrandt, then obviously a client is going to be particularly interested from that aspect. It could be the fabulous decorative impact of, it, the, of the portrait's costume, or it could indeed be the provenance or the history of it, bearing in mind that in the area that I specialize in, which is from the early 16th century until perhaps the middle of the 17th century, Portraiture was confined mostly to those people at, very, at the highest status of society, the nobility, the royalty, and so quite often these paintings have very, very interesting histories. Um, but ultimately, I think, and this is something which you know, I work quite hard at, um, which is connoisseurship, it should be the beauty of the object in itself. As far as the future supply of great portraiture or great paintings is concerned. Um, I mean that is it is an area which um, you know any serious dealer you know, would be worried about. Um, it's certainly true that the, re the really great objects are drying up. And, but that said um, there are always great things to discover and genuinely um, this is one of the things which drives me when I wake up every morning is that you just never know what's going to be round the corner and 
I think whereas um, you'll certainly see a, um, a, a, a reduction in the number of um, businesses with, um, with, with, uh, with, say, gallery outlets as the supply diminishes and you'll reduce yourself to a core of really great dealers who've got the finance and the expertise to maintain uh, a business for the coming decades. Um, I think there will always be a place for that kind of gallery and I'm actually excited about the future. I think that we're very well placed to compete with the auction houses. So a gallery which has um, used its connoisseurship and its own expertise to provide a marvellous resource of well-chosen objects that are beautifully presented, well-researched and are what they should be with all the answers, all the questions answered. I think there will always be a place for such a gallery and um, I'm certainly not afraid of the next 25 years.